The English Bulldog is one of the UK's most beloved dog breeds and is also one of the most popular breeds in the world. These stocky little dogs have a ton of character and the love to love. In this video we will do a deep dive into the English Bulldog's temperament and explore the good things about their temperaments, my, what might be a possible downside and what kind of issues can arise if there is no high level canine leader to be able to really get the best out of these incredible little dogs. Welcome back to the Fenrir English Bulldog Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviourist and I'm the founder here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything that you could possibly ever want to know about the incredible English Bulldog, then how to become a high-level canine leader that can raise perfect English Bulldog companions. So if you love the English Bulldog as much as we do here at Fenrir, start your journey by hitting that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss a future English Bulldog video. So then, let's dive into today's video and find out if the English Bulldog's temperament is a perfect fit for you, or if you might be better off thinking about selecting another breed. So let's get the bad stuff out of the way first and focus on some of the more common problem behaviours that I have seen as a canine behaviourist. And we need to start by knowing that the English Bulldog is a descendant from the mighty warriors of the bull baiting ring. Though with bull baiting's outlawing, the Bulldog quickly found itself being repurposed as a companion animal. While they aren't warriors anymore, this breed can still be a tenacious one. And with an inexperienced canine leader, some issues can and do indeed quite commonly crop up. The most common behaviour problem in the English Bulldog breed is around food aggression or and resource guarding. Even though the breed has changed vastly over the past few hundred years, the warrior of old can pop up when food or something they want is involved. Because they can be quite naturally possessive, it takes some good guidance from a calm, consistent canine leader to make sure that this problem doesn't become a real, genuine issue that needs serious skill to be able to address. Sorry to very quickly interrupt the video guys, I just wanted to let you know if you haven't done it already, over on our website FenrirCanineLeaders.com we have a completely free quiz that I designed myself for you to be able to take. It asks you a few questions based on some of the things that I think are really important for what guard dog breed will be perfect for you. So you go through that quiz, you answer the questions honestly and then at the end it will give you what I think the perfect guard dog breed for you is. And again, it's completely free, just trying to help you guys out as much as we can so again there'll be a link down to it in the description box below if you haven't done it already go even if you're not necessarily interested in getting a guard dog breed anytime soon i know a lot of people have found it really fun just to see what kind of breed i would recommend for you so get stuck in go and have a look but without further ado we'll get back to the video you were just watching now every breed can have some downsides to their temperament that might not make them the best fit for you or your family so here are some cons to consider before adding an english bulldog to your household. Now have you ever heard the term as stubborn as a bull? Well this is one saying that actually applies to this breed very much so and it is even in their name given the original profession they needed to go toe to toe with some pretty willful bovines. The bulldog was required to be determined and have the resilience to stick it out as they grabbed the bull by the nose and then were thrashed about as the animal tried to get them to release their grip. While the breed has changed drastically and selective breeding has turned them into something more gentle, that stubbornness is still present. This makes the breed harder to train, unfortunately. While they are smart enough to catch on to new things, sometimes they don't want to do it. And being a consistent leader is the only way to attempt to contend with this breed's eye and will. Now, like with all breeds, harmful breeding programs that don't prioritise temperament can lead to some severe issues. And it is always important to do your research and find a reputable breeder or a breeding programme to get your new canine companion from. And according to the American Temperament Testing Association, the English Bulldog population gets a score of 80%, which means that the other 20% have some issues that make their temperament less than desirable. Now, these issues that you can find in a temperamentally defunct English Bulldog can vary, but animal aggression is one of the most common. The English Bulldog went through a massive overhaul when the breed almost went extinct when bull baiting was outlawed in 1835. The breed was simply too aggressive, which is why fans of the breed took on the incredible task of trying to repurpose this breed as the perfect family companion. 
Animal aggression in the breed is a sad step back for these guys. While socialization, good introduction practices, and being a calm, consistent leader can remedy most problems, real temperament issues can make the animal unpredictable at times, even despite our best efforts. Now then, with a correct temperament and a calm, consistent canine leader in charge, an English Bulldog can be a profound joy to be around. The breed can be a little quirky and have tons of personality. The English Bulldog has transitioned from that fighter to now a genuine lover, and they excel at this new role. This breed has a huge heart. They adore and are devoted to their humans and want nothing more than to lavish their people with all the adoration that they have to give. Now, the English Bulldog is also a very friendly one. They tend to do well with all varieties of people and other animals, but you would be hard-pressed to find a more naturally wonderful breed with children. English Bulldogs are incredibly patient with little ones, and they even tend to slip right into quite a maternal role. They will follow children around and keep them under a very watchful eye. This breed genuinely cares about their family, and they are truly dependable. So I hope you enjoyed that breakdown of the temperament of the English Bulldog. Yes, with all breeds, there's pros and cons, but the trick is to make sure that we're aware of those pros and cons, are honest and open with our own experience, skill set, and the desires that we have from our dogs to be able to find a breed that matches perfectly. If we do that, then we're setting ourselves and our dogs up for success to have that dream canine companion that we've always wanted. So if you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because I can't wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Femrear English Bulldog Show.